Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video we'll talk about uh, the node console object. We'll continue talking about it. Okay, we'll, we'll focus on the three functions here. Uh, we have console.log, console.info, and console.error. Okay, these three functions, the reason why we have them in the same video is because they are they essentially behave in the same way. There are some key differences, but their behavior is very similar, uh, as you will see as we move on with this video. Okay, so one thing I want to point out is that uh, console.info is an alias for console.log. So if you know how console.log works, you also know how console.info works. So we are actually going to focus on console.log and console.error in this video. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out is there are differences between console.log and console.error. And the major one, or the only one, is the fact that they print to different streams. Console.log prints to the output stream, while console.error prints to uh, uh, the standard error uh, stream. Now what does that mean? Well, nothing I've said here should tell you uh, uh, about that for now. Alright, so let's go ahead and use these two functions and see how we can uh, see what that difference means. Let's go console.log let's, uh, let's just print the regular message. console.error we will do that with uh, the error message okay let's print these to the console and see what we get let's call node here node and the file is log info error okay now what you can see here is they're both printed uh, to the console. What does that tell us? Nothing actually. Well, let's say what if you wanted to forward or pipe uh, these uh, output to a file. Let's call that file li.txt. Okay, first weird thing we can see here is the fact that only one of those messages printed. Which message is it? The message that is the error, the one we're printing with console that error. That's the one that still prints to the console. The one that uh, is printed with console.log is forwarded to the file. Okay, so this is my output, which we printed with console.log. Okay, all right that's the one that gets forwarded to the file. Now this gives us a clue here. This tells us that whatever this operator is picking up, which I know is the output stream. So whatever data is coming to the output stream as a result of running this program is forwarded to this file. Okay, so that's why we're getting that data in this file. And the stream that uh, this operator is reading is the output stream. It doesn't read the error, the standard error stream, and that's why it did not pick up the error message. Okay, one way that one thing that could make this clearer is by using a, a, a node module called forever. And what forever allows you to do is essentially run your app for continuously and uh, and you know, you can provide it with flags and files where you want your errors to be printed, uh, where you want your logs to be printed, and so on. Now you can install uh, forever using this npm npm install. We provide it with the g, which means it's gonna install uh, forever globally. Okay, you can use that command to install forever. I don't need to do that because I already have it. So let's use forever here to start the application. 
with some flags. O means output, so I'm going to give it a file out.txt. That's where I want my output from the program to go. The errors, uh, the errors, that's where I want my errors to go. Let's call this error.txt. And what program do I want to start? I want to start log info error.js. All right, let's run that. Okay, so what we're getting here, are just a few warning and info, is telling me it's running this program. And if my program doesn't last more than a second, it's not going to continue running it. That's fine. That's just it uh, forever telling us stuff. But as you can see here, you don't have our, our outputs don't print to the console anymore. That is because by forever, they are being redirected to these files. Okay, so our error is being redirected to err.txt and uh, our output is being redirected to out.txt. So let's go look at these files and see what we get. Out.txt, that's where we get the output of our program. And error.txt, that's where we get the error of our program and as you can remember you know console.log is where we printed out our output and console.error is where we printed our error message okay so this makes it quite clear that console.error doesn't print to the standard output it's printed to standard error which is what forever is picking up here and sending to this file and console.log is, is printing to the output stream which is what forever is picking up here and sending to the output.txt file all right so hopefully this makes it clear that these two functions don't print to the same uh, uh, to the same streams and 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 that uh, uh, and that that is a sort of a big difference uh, between the two okay now the rest that we need to know here is is very it's similar functionality between these two functions so you can print a string okay a regular string that as you can see here no funky stuff is happening here all right you can also add additional stuff here Okay, it could be an object, okay, age 45, okay, you can give it an additional string, name, okay, first, you can add as many stuff as you want here, and the function will just print them, okay. But all it will do is just concatenate it to the original string that was printed. Okay, the first string, it's called primary string. Okay, so if I just copy this and put it in the error, console.error function, it will behave exactly the same way. It will do the same thing. Okay, so it prints the primary string and just adds these and just add these. Uh, parameters and concatenate the, the message okay all right so what other things we can do with these we can print formatted strings okay let me just remove these right here okay we have a couple of formatted string here strings here so we get value message and we have values message okay these are two formatted string we have a person d in there so we can replace that by some number so data all right so what we expect here is this will be called a hundred times all right and here we have a couple of operators here to replace uh, just to make it the same text okay let's make the first called the second one data all right so call will replace the person as data will, will replace the person in, this, in a similar way as your printf function in c okay so let's run this and see what we get 
So we get essentially the same message. Okay, so you can print formatted strings as well. Now if you, but for some reason, added uh, additional parameters to this, let's do age again here. Okay, uh, you will, it will just be printed concatenated to the original string. All right, so not sure why you'd want to do that, but the function allows you to do that. All right, so you can see here that these functions behave very similarly. The only big difference here is the fact that they print to different streams. Well, log prints to standard output and uh, error prints to standard error. All right, so with forever, let's go ahead and run this again with forever and see what will happen, okay? All right, let's look at our files here with out. All right, we get uh, our little object here and with error, uh, we get this. All right, so this is how you can use console.log, console.info, and console.error to do stuff for you. All right, the, the one big difference they have is the fact that they print to different streams. Console.log prints to std out, while console.error prints to std error. All right, so this is how these functions work. This is the video. Uh, we are going to continue talking about the console uh, uh, object in Node.js. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe if you want to know when these videos are coming up. If you like the videos, please hit the like button. And if you've got questions and comments, please uh, add them to the comment section and I will respond. And I will see you next time. Alright guys, bye.